Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to introduce and demo the app MapSwipe, discuss what it is, how it's used, and how you can get started mapping with it today. Let's get started. So what is MapSwipe? MapSwipe is an app that helps humanitarian workers navigate unmapped parts of the world. When mapping really large areas that may be largely uninhabited, mappers can waste a lot of time scanning for buildings and roads inside of the mapping cells. MapSwipe uses satellite imagery of countries and breaks it up into manageable chunks so that people like you and me can easily identify which parts need mapping. MapSwipe leverages the collective strength of volunteers to help improve map data across the world. MapSwipe is a project of Missing Maps and available on the Apple App Store and on Google Play. All right, so once you have downloaded the app, you can go ahead, open it up, select the language that you would like to be using, click continue, and there's some general background information on what MapSwipe is, how it's used, So you can then sign up for a brand new account, or if you have an OpenStreetMap account, you can log in with your OpenStreetMap credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and click log in with OpenStreetMap. It'll take you to the OpenStreetMap website where you will log in, click authorize, and then reopen the app. Once you're in, you'll see a variety of different projects or missions as they're called, and these are the active projects that users can work on. I'm just going through looking at my profile. There's once you map with MapSwipe for a bit, there's some cool information that comes up, but I'm going to go ahead and click on a mission that I want to contribute to. And for every mission, you should always be clicking tutorial and going through the tutorial for that specific mission because there's some differences between the different projects and the directions for that. So I'm going in and in the tutorial it will provide some different scenarios and will prompt you through how to select the squares based off of the objects in them. So one click will turn the cell green um, this means that the target objects, in this case buildings, are located in that square. If you tap the cell twice, it will turn the cell yellow. Use this when you are unsure what you're looking at, if there may be an object in there, or you're just unsure. And then with three clicks, you will turn the cell red, which means that the imagery is just not great. Sometimes there will be clouds or shadows that make it hard to see. So now you can just follow along as I finish up the rest of this tutorial. Once you finish the tutorial and feel a little bit more confident in your skills, you can go ahead and click Start Mapping. As you progress through the different slides, you will notice a tracking bar at the bottom of your phone that tracks how far along in that task you are. So as a reminder, tap once to turn the cell green, which means the selected cell contains the target features. Tap twice to turn the cell yellow, which means that the selected cell may contain the target features or you're just unsure of what exactly you're looking at. And tap three times if there's an issue with the imagery. If you want to tap all of the cells red, you can slide down from the top. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working through this task and you can follow along.
you'll see in some of these that there are some clouds in the corners. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap them red because the clouds may be covering up some buildings that could be there. So as you can see by the track at the bottom, I'm almost done with this particular task. So once I'm done, you're going to go ahead and click complete session and wait for your contributions to finish syncing. If you're interested in learning more about MapSwipe or how to use the data generated, visit the MapSwipe website. The data is all completely open and available for anyone to use, so I highly recommend checking out the MapSwipe data page listed on this slide. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this.